Very good evening to one and all. I am Siddhant Kohli and I am here to give you all a small presentation on the disease called arthritis. As you might read that arthritis is composed of two Greek words that is artho as well as itis. Artho here refers to the joint and itis refers to an inflammation. As many of you will know that inflammation is the feeling of pain or severe heat in a particular area of a body which results in unbearable or bearable pain to an extent. Arthritis therefore is called joint pain or you can say uh, any pain in the joints of a human body. As we know that there are multiple joints in a human body, therefore arthritis may be of 100 different varieties. It is very difficult to concentrate on a particular form of arthritis. Though commonly known arthritis can be treated and is treated in almost everywhere in the world. Be it USA, be it India, be it Africa, be it Iceland, wherever you go. This disease is irrespective of the world geography and the world climate. As you can see, the causes of this disease are trauma to a joint pain, inflammation to the joint, age, autoimmune diseases such as rheumatic arthr rheumatoid arthritis, then daily wear and tear of the muscle, as well as fatigue and strain on certain muscles. So, arthritis can happen when you try to lift heavy objects. Arthritis can happen when you tire yourself a lot and do not take proper sleep or do not take proper rest. See, in this, the symptoms are quite generic. That is, varied level of pain, swelling, stiffness of the joint area and a constant ache around the joint. Since joint is the section where two bones or two cartilage, cartilages meet or join and it has muscles also therefore swelling, stiffness and pain is observed in various joints of body. Joint does not, it is a common misconception among the people that joint generally refers to the knees or the elbows whereas one forgets that there are multiple hundreds of joints in his very own body, be it the joints of fingers, hand, neck, ribs, etc. As one can see that special dietary or the ordinary diet, which is a balanced diet, can help reduce the chances of arthritis. Though in severe cases of arthritis, one might go for the vitamin therapy that is in injection of C, E, A and B6 vitamins to improve the cartilage structure of one's bone or of one's body. As cartilages are one of the most essential part of any human body, it is therefore required by every and each human to take care of his main cartilage or the skeletal system which is commonly known to the people and there can also be uh, take, glucose mean can be taken which is again a sort of sugar which is present in the shells of crabs uh, crabs then such prawns etc things for that matter of fact can be consumed in order to suppress the severe symptoms of arthritis in patients. Also, extract from blueberry, hot, hot berry, as well as cherries can be prepared and be given to a patient of arthritis in order to improve or reduce his pain and, rid and what you can say, induce a better workability in the person itself. Arthritis is one of the major cause of disabilities in developed as well as underdeveloped nations. Since, arthr since due to arthritis, 
such diseases are to be found in various uh, people as there is no single root cause of this disease. There can be autoimmune diseases where the immune system mistakes the friendly cartilage or the joint as its enemy and act upon it as a virus and slowly and slowly degenerate the tissues and the muscle and the cartilage itself. Therefore, one must take special care and have a balanced diet in order to avoid arthritis. Then medicines. In case of osteoarthritis, which is commonly known as joint pain, a medicine called acet acetaminophen can be taken. Whereas for general, uh, for other arthritis patients, normal inflammatory reducing drugs such as aspirins, ibuprofen, or commonly known painkillers of various degrees can be taken. But it is preferred that non-steroidal inflammatory reducing drugs should be taken. Then, government hospitals that offer treatment for arthritis are uh, ranging from the district hospitals to the hospital as big as AIMS. <coughs> Therefore, if at all one must uh, feel the symptoms of arthritis, one must consult the local district hospital or the bigger hospitals for a treatment and relief such as AIDS. I am through with my presentation. If any of you have any doubts, kindly ask questions. You said osteoarthritis. Do you know what's the meaning of osteo in this? The same question I was about to ask. Osteo refers to the bones. Osteoarthritis is generally concerned with the people who are elderly, who cannot walk properly due to severe pain, generally in the knee joints. You're always Any right, but you're always right, but uh, uh, I have not even I have heard somewhere, but I have read as a matter of fact that osteo, whenever the word osteo comes, it actually means uh, that the person is having a disease and the person is female. For example, I would like to have a common misconception. For example, I would like to give an example. Uh, for example, osteoporosis. It is generally uh, it happens in females. No. So generally it happens in females. Yes. I'd like to quote you generally. Yes. Generally is a very lethal term as far as diseases are concerned because diseases do not discriminate on the basis of gender that is male or female. Diseases can happen and will happen to anyone who has the basic requirements for it. For example, this disease generally happens around the cartilages and cartilages are to be found in both males and females. Therefore, osteo generally refers to the bone or the cartilage. And what's the meaning of uh, rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis is one form of autoimmune disease in which the immune cells of a particular person mistake the healthy cells as the infected cells and slowly, slowly degenerate the healthy cells and deteriorate the person's condition in terms of and causes severe disability. One person suffering from rheumatoid arthritis cannot work ordinarily. <coughs> 